body self gate h e d s we have here and we are here with another exercise so for the month of may we are having an exercise a day in aid of eds awareness and i hope all of you hypermobile out there have been able to look at these videos and that some of them have been really helpful to you what we're going to look at today is thoracic rotation so rotation is one of the really best ways to get your thorax which is where your ribs are up to your shoulders moving when we rotate we don't just move like this in one direction we move with um multiple planes of movement so as we rotate to our right the ribs on this side will rotate that way in order to move and so some of us have holding patterns um as hypermobiles so we might be people that hold in our diaphragm which means that it doesn't allow the side that needs to open and come down and back to do its thing which can be problematic. Sometimes we hold in our lats and our spinal extensors overly. And so when we go to rotate, it doesn't let that side move. So what we're gonna do is explore on your own bodies because we all are different. We all have our own strategies. There's no one way to do an exercise for everyone that will work because we're all different. So we're gonna explore the front. Um, nice and easily and we're going to start with a little rotation to the right and I want you to think about your ribs and your diaphragm here and as you go to the right I want you to think that this right side is allowed to open you can feel that those ribs can lift and open and then come back I'm not going a big distance just a little bit and then when I go to the left so I'm a little bit stiffer there but I've had lots of abdominal surgeries for hernias which will be um, impacting me so if you've had lots of um, sur surgeries as well you might find that's the case so I'm a little bit stiffer opening that side but I can really think about it and come back and I can lift and open and come back so that's thinking about the front and allowing that to move in order to help us move a bit so the other thing in the front we can think about is your sternal bone so the sternum bone actually should be able to rotate with us as well so those ribs attach into your sternum bone and that's really important that it's not fixed and stuck we've got a lot of muscles um, attaching into there so as i rotate to the right this time I'm going to think if I had two little eyeballs in my sternum bone, that my little eyeballs are going to look to the direction that I'm turning. So I'm going to think about my sternum bone looking that way. And that really helps me rotate and come back. And then I'm going to let my little sternal eyeballs look to my left. And I'm going to let them turn that way. And come back everybody fixates on the spine but actually the front is really important too so I can think now about my sternum bone and my diaphragm all allowing me to turn to the right and coming back and my sternum and my diaphragm allows me to turn to the left and come back so that's looking at the front of the body and now I'm going to think about the back so if I rotate to the right the back of my left side needs to open to allow me to come around and come back so when i do that and i focus on the back opening i can feel i'm a bit stiffer so i know i'm holding more in the front because that helped my rotation more so it gives you an idea it felt a bit pinchy when i thought about the back rather than the front and i'm going to go the other way so on this side i'm going to think about my back and that was a bit better on that side and come back so often we'll be held in the front on one side and the back on the other and that's quite nice for me to rotate that way so you can think about the back and you can think about the front so that was really around the lower portion of the ribs where your lats might be held tight you might even want to slouch back a tiny bit and see if that helps the back to let go and loosen off to rotate and then the other thing is to think about the shoulder blade. So as I rotate to my right, am I held and fixed in my shoulder blade? Now, I don't want you to necessarily pull it forward, but I want you to make sure that you're not holding tension in between your shoulder blade on the back of that side as you rotate to the right and come back. When I go to the left, I'm gonna think about the back of my right shoulder blade not holding so that I can rotate to the left. 
So these are all things that you can think about in your rotations that will be helpful and you'll find the one that will make your rotation feel the best and that will help you get those ribs moving and that will help everything um, in your system. So I hope you found that useful and thank you for watching and join me again in a different video on um, my YouTube channel. Um, there are so many videos now there because we are nearly at the end of the month of May and um, have a great day.